hi guys i hope you're doing well welcome to my channel once again my name is joyce k and i live in canada i live in ontario in the northern part of ontario and today i want to welcome everybody that is coming back to watch this video i also want to welcome you if you're new to this channel you're welcome remember to subscribe remember to leave the notification bell on that is the one that is very very important because every time i upload a video you get to be notified in case you have not uh you have not uh, put your notification bell on then that means that sometimes i could just uh, come up with a new video that uh, would have information that would fit you uh that would be of help to you and then you get to miss out on that and so guys today i want us to talk about another pathway for coming to Canada. I know we have in my previous videos, we have talked about other programs, express entry, coming as a student, coming as a, as a caregiver. You know, there are so many pathways that I have talked previously. If you have not watched my playlist, make sure that you go through it so that you get to understand uh, more uh, options that I have talked about. And then so that as I, as I speak about some terminologies, then you're going to understand what we're talking about. And uh, today's program is about, it's called Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. And this program uh, was launched in 2017, as you, as you can, uh, you know, as, you, you, as the name goes by, it's a pilot that was launched to, you know, to be tested and it was supposed to end by the end of 2020 December. But I think uh, they realized that it's a program that is working well and they extended up to the end of uh, 2021 and there's likelihood for extension. Uh, we need to keep our eyes open so that, uh, so that we get to understand uh, or rather to see what is going to come out uh, with this one. So uh, this program, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, it is a program that is going to grant you a permanent resident. Remember, it is not all pathways of coming to Canada that are going to give you permanent resident. This one is a, is a, an, a program whereby you're going to attain a permanent residence, a residency for Canada. Remember, we said that permanent residency is like a, is like a citizenship in Canada, only that you don't have, a, only that you don't have a passport yet but you get to enjoy most of the benefits that a citizen uh, enjoys. And um, uh, guys, this program is uh, targeting two kind of people. I don't want you to get uh, to confuse it with the, uh, with the one for express entry, because this one, it is particularly for the, as you, as you can hear, the name is Atlantic. It is only for four provinces. And the on and, and the people that is targeting is for skilled, uh, skilled people with high skills, and also um, graduate uh, people who have who have recently graduated as uh, international students. So and 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 some of the provinces, I mean the four provinces that are under this program are Newfoundland, and then there's New Brunswick, and then there's Nova Scotia. And there's also Prince Edward Island. Those four provinces, I'm going to leave a link uh, at, the, at the comment section and uh, under comment, comment section so that you can you can go through it in, the, in their website and then you get to understand more. But I'm going to talk in a way that uh, I'll make sure that at least I elaborate, you know, to make it easier for you to understand. So this program, it is targeting two, uh, two categories of people, as we have said. It is for the people who are skilled, and it is also for, for people who have recently graduated to, from a government institution uh, which is accredited in Canada. So this one tells you that when you're doing your application for university to come and study in Canada, you can, uh, you can highly consider coming to study in any of these four provinces because it's like they are concerned about their international students after they graduate they want them to find work and also to give them 
permanent resident to be able to be citizens of, of those provinces. Yeah, so, so if you're looking to come to study in a university, then uh, you can highly consider checking in, in one of those provinces, the four provinces in Atlantic, uh, in Atlantic part of Canada. So the employers uh, are looking to hire people who, who, I mean, to fill the gaps in employment for people that they were not able to find in, the, in those provinces. And there's a, there's a procedure for doing this process. It's not a long procedure. I, I actually want to make it very short for you so that, so that it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't complicate the process. It's not as a complicated process as, as others are. This one is straightforward because you just need to pay an application fee of 1,040 Canadian dollars. And then after that, the process is going to take only six months. Within six months, the process is supposed to have gone through. That is why I, I, I thought it is it is better I start with this one because between now and December, you have more than six months. So in case you already have a job offer, you can consider applying for this program. And in case you know that you're going to find a job offer, you can also apply for, for this program. In case you're already in Canada in one of those uh, provinces, then you can take advantage of uh, applying for a job when you're studying or when you're just about to, to, to graduate, you can start looking into this program so that in case you graduate before December, then you can, you can, do, you can submit your application. So uh, this process involves three main, uh, three main parts. And the first part is for you to get a job offer. Uh, I'm going to do a, a, a separate video on how you can, I know I have been having many people asking me questions on how they can find jobs in Canada, but uh, for the sake of this one, I'm only going to mention one for, the, for those provinces. Remember in Canada, there are many websites that you can find job. Like I know we have LinkedIn, we have Indeed, uh, we, ha we also have, uh, we have this, this, this other one that are, uh, specifically for these provinces. So, uh, so I, I'm going to give you the, 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 the one, the, the, the site that you can be able to look for the job offers. And, and, uh, we have said that it involves three parts. The first one is that you must have a job offer. After you get a job offer, you must also get a settlement plan. A settlement plan is going to be granted to you by a settlement plan uh, organization or, or, or some individuals that have been assigned and they have been given an, an, an individualized number for them to work under this category. So the settlement plan, if you want to know the people who are given this assi assignment to give you the settlement plan, they are also, I'm going to leave a link there for, for you to, you know, to contact them in case you want to find a settlement plan. And the last one is for you to have an endorsement certificate. An endorsement certificate is this job offer once you sign it and then the government, that, that province signs it and then they, they put that signature and then they like they endorse. And then once they endorse that job, job offer, then they send it back to you. To maybe you we say that this, this program, you can apply it when you're in your home country. So they send you this uh, endorsement certificate and then you can use it to apply for permanent resident. These are the three things that you're going to use to apply for permanent resident. You have to prove that you have a settlement plan and you also have to prove that you have this endorsement, uh, endorsement certificate, which is like uh, the job offer that has been signed by the government. Okay, so... Uh, for you to have a job offer, you must have qualified under these skills that I'm going to talk about here in. You must have a NOC a level a, a, B, C, and O. And I know that uh, you must have heard about NOC. I must have talked about it in my previous video. That NOC is a classification of, uh, of uh, your skills. Say, for example, you are an engineer, you have a class that is called NOC. You need to find out your work uh, experience under which NOC 
class where you fall under you need to find out that and then uh but i'm going to explain to you the the classes or the levels that are required for this atlantic program migration program and the first one is noc type a noc type a is for professional occup occupations with a university degree those people with a university degree you qualify under NOCA, so you can you can start looking for a job offer in these provinces. The other class is NOCB. NOCB is for technical and trades occupations. So in case you are a technical person, I know there are those. Uh, if you are a, a technician, if you are a, an electrician, then you need to check uh, what type of uh, uh, of NOC you fall under. Most likely, you're going to be under this B. And then NOCC, it is for semi and low skilled workers. Yeah, like the plumbers, the carpenters, uh, and then uh, for trades and primary manufacturing industries, sales persons, and um, people that give services in clerical and assistant categories. Those people fall under NOCC. In case you want to understand this further, I'm going to leave a link there for NOC so that you can you can find out where your where your career lies under this NOC. NOCO is for the managerial level. Managerial level, of course, we all know that it is the highest level. Where, in case you have been a manager in your in your home country, then you qualify to apply under this. So we have said it is. Uh, this this program, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, it is for NOC A, B, C, and O. And in case you need to know where your career, where your uh, skills lie under, then you need to check under that NOC. It, it doesn't have to be called the way your home country calls it. Sometimes you're just going to find some small relationship and then you just pick one that is related to the skills that you have attained in your home country yeah and then uh, i said that i'm going to give you the 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 website where you can find a job offer and the website is called explorecareers.novascotia.ca i'm also going to leave it under the the description part i know i have i'm going to leave so much information there but it is okay you can check this website you can also check uh, other websites as i said for the entire canada i know we have indeed linkedin all those ones you can check but make sure that the person who is offering you a job is a person who has been under designated employers designated employers are people that have been chosen by those particular provinces those four provinces to give uh to employ under uh, this uh this program under this pilot so that the people that are giving you jobs have to be designated that is very important because i know we are, there are so many scammers that have been telling you that they're going to offer you a job in canada and then you're required to pay them this amount of money make sure that you don't get conned because i have said that these designated employers they are like I, they are not so many i saw the list of them you just need to find if the person who is offering you a job is under that it is in that list yeah then we say that you can be either in within canada and you can also be outside canada but you you, you of course you are not a, a permanent resident and you're not a canadian citizen you can be a student who is maybe about to graduate you can be somebody uh, I, I saw they have said that you can be a visitor. If you are a visitor in Canada and you fall under this uh, NOCs, then you can try your luck and apply for 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 one for these programs. This is an opportunity for people who are coming to as visitors. Then once you apply for this and you get a job offer and then you apply for PR, you might be surprised to find that you you are going to be able to go through because it's a short. It is a short program for within six months, you have your PR if you have submitted all your documents. So that is it. There's not much for this. The only thing that you need to remember is that you must have these two important. The only important things that I want you to note is that you must be a graduate from a university who you must be a, a graduate uh, from a university who has recently graduated from a 
government institution in Canada. You can also be a skilled person under these NOCs that I have said A, A B, and C, and O, and you're outside Canada, and then you 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 qualify uh, your skills fall under this this these four categories, and then you also you also need to know that um, you are applying for these four provinces, which is uh, Newfoundland, uh, New Brunswick, uh, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. That is it. It's as short as that. I don't want to complicate it because I want you to go through the IRCC, or which is the Canadian official immigration website, and study more about this. I think it's a very easy one compared to... to oh, did I say that your, your, your education has to be verified? That is very important, that your education must go through WES. Remember, I did a video on how you can submit your documents to WES for credential evaluation. So your, your education has to be verified under that. And then you must, of course, have passed your English uh, and uh, attained CLB4. CLB4 is low because we know for express entry, they require seven. This one is only four. This one is very attainable. If you convert that into IELTS, you're going to find that it's, it's not uh, so hard to attain. So I think you could try your luck under this, and then uh, and then you see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, so this is a program, and uh, you can try and uh, and then in my next program I'll try and and give you. Um, and, and do a video on how you can search for a job in Canada because I know in most of these programs they are going to ask for a job offer. But remember this program does not require you to have LMIA. Remember we talked about LMIA in my previous videos. LMIA is a number that is given to Canadians that who qualify to employ foreigners. They are given a certain a permit to, to employ uh, foreigners for to fill positions of people that they have not been able to find in Canada. So in this program, you don't require an LMIA for somebody to, to offer you a job. They, they just need to be a designated company that are, has been given permission to employ under this program. So I think this one is easier. Yeah, it's easier. So guys, I want to thank you so much, those people that have been followed, following me. Uh, thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so that uh, so that you don't miss out. We always say that the information that you are giving is not only for you, you can help someone else. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.